If you think Democrats will never stop at trying to take guns away and instituting assault weapons bans, please like and subscribe. Welcome to Lawyered Up. I'm Patrick McGee. I'm a Florida trial attorney and former police officer, and I bring you news and information on the Second Amendment from Florida and around the country. Just a little something to put on your radar is Senate Bill 8051. Let's take a look at it. It was introduced by Representative Don Baer, a Democrat from Virginia's 8th Congressional District on June 14th. It's currently in the Ways and Means Committee and hasn't gone anywhere since, but the act is called the Assault Weapons Excise Act. And if you look down here in Section 2, they want to put a 1,000% tax on large capacity feeding devices, large capacity ammunition feeding devices, and assault weapons. The pertinent part of the act is here in section two, paragraph B1. In general, in addition to the tax imposed by subsection A, there is hereby imposed upon the sale by the manufacturer, producer, or importer of any of the following articles a tax equivalent to 1000 percent of the price for which so is sold large capacity ammunition feeding devices which it goes on to describe as magazines in excess of 10 rounds and auto, semi-automatic assault weapons and it goes on to describe the assault weapons in the typical you know typical fashion it's the semi-automatic weapon with the big scary add-ons that make it very scary for the gun grabbers just keep an eye on things like this there's assault weapons bans and all kinds of stuff popping up at the local level just so you're aware of what's going on in this particular act it is a de facto assault weapons ban by taxing your second amendment out of existence um, you know it, it probably wouldn't pass constitutional muster but you never know. I always say if there's one thing that judges and politicians do very well is that they disappoint. So just keep it on your radar. And I've got some other news that's coming up about local assault weapons vans in various cities. And despite the Supreme Court's ruling in Bruin, the gun grabbers are going all out and doubling down. And the gun control efforts are crazier than they've ever been. And, you know, one thing I think of and I'm going to do a video on this a little bit later, is this is actually, I think, driving gun sales. I think you will see record gun sales this year. Anyway, thank you for joining me on Lawyered Up. I always appreciate the time you spend with me. And if you like this type of content and analysis, please like and subscribe and share with your friends and help me beat the YouTube algorithm. Until next time, I'll see you on Lawyered Up.